Hi, I'm Nicholas Hasem, the Special Representative of the UN Secretary General in South Sudan. Right now, the people of South Sudan are facing seemingly overwhelming challenges. Persistent intercommunal conflict, a dire humanitarian situation, a deteriorating economic conditions, an inflow of 800,000 refugees from neighboring Sudan, and now the threat of extreme flooding that will cause further harm to millions of vulnerable people. Our peacekeepers are working in partnership with the government and communities across the country to overcome these immense difficulties. Today, the International Day of Peace is an opportunity to recognize the extraordinary resilience of the people we serve and their persistence in striving for a sustainable peace. But we also acknowledge the courage and determination of our peacekeepers who are supporting this young nation on its journey from conflict to peace. The theme for this year's commemoration in South Sudan is nurturing a culture of peace, our collective responsibility. It highlights the importance of partnerships and the need for urgent and united action by all parties to fully implement the peace agreement and ultimately deliver free, fair, credible and peaceful elections. It's also a chance for us to commit to enhancing the civic and political space so that all people, including those who are often marginalised, can participate in a full, equal and meaningful way in the peace process itself. In a world of rising geopolitical tensions and protracted conflicts, there has never been a better time to recommit to the values needed for a culture of peace, the very values celebrated in our UN Charter. Respect for life, human rights and fundamental freedoms, dialogue and cooperation, justice, democracy, collaboration rather than confrontation, peaceful resolution of conflicts, respect for diversity, and embracing our common values. On the International Day of Peace, let's seize the opportunity to nurture peace in the hearts and minds of our children and our communities across the country and across generations to build a better future together. I thank you.